Hello, hello, and welcome to Omer's Garage. Today, we're going to be working on the front brakes on a Mini Cooper R56. All right, so we've been, you know, overhauling everything on the car, all the fluids and everything. If you follow my channel, then you know, you know, everything that's being done to the car. I've already replaced the rear brakes um, on this car and um, we're actually going to be replacing the, the, the brake cable um, in another video because uh, those are kind of acting up as well. But today I'm actually going to replace the front rotors and the front pads. In addition, I'm going to be replacing the front brake sensor because right now it's giving me a, uh, you know, a code, uh, so I'm getting a brake light on the vehicle. Um, which I'm hoping is just the sensor, and once I replace that sensor, then it will go away. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to open up the brake fluid reservoir um, because it's pretty high up. Um, so I'm going to take some out in order to make sure that when I compress the piston in the calipers, that it doesn't overflow. All right, for, uh, for today's video, um, this is what you're going to need uh, for the front brake pads. You're going to need some uh, brake hardware. Uh, this is the these are all from uh r1 concepts uh, these are the part numbers three four zero seven three zero zero five um this is a wire you're going to need the brake sensor wire that one is three four one dash three two zero zero three then you're going to need a set of pads these are the front brake pads these this is all, these this is everything needed for the front brakes so you're going to need a two five five one dash one three zero eight dash zero zero um so these are your front brake pads and that's what they look like. It's going to be four. And from there, you're going to need a rotor. This one is one eight three zero three two zero zero five L. This is for the left side, the driver side. Um, the zero five is the front. Um, I think it was zero three was uh, the rear. So it's a smaller number in the rear. Uh, and these are the rotors I got. These are cross-drilled and slotted. Uh, you don't need this. This is just a little bit of extra that I um, that I purchased for this car. And then as far as your tools, you're gonna go, um, you can either use a breaker bar um, or a socket wrench. Um, I have my big gun today. Um, these are definitely worth it if you're gonna be uh, working on cars. Uh, this is a half inch impact driver, but you're gonna need a 17 millimeter that's gonna be to remove the bolts on your wheels. You're gonna need a 16 millimeter that's going to be for the uh, caliper bracket. And the 13 millimeter is going to be to remove the caliper bolts. Then you're going to need a 14 millimeter in order to hold the nut when you're removing the caliper bolts. And um, I usually have a pry bar uh, just in case. And then you're most likely going to need some, definitely some brake cleaner, um, whatever brand you want of a uh, brake cleaner, because you're, it's, it's a good idea to, uh, to clean your brakes. And the other thing you're gonna need is a wire brush. Um, I have one here. And you're gonna need some uh, brake caliper grease, um, any kind that you want. Um, so that's what we're gonna be using. So this is everything that you're gonna need. Um, you know, there might be something else that pops up, a screwdriver or something, but um, for the most part, this is all you're gonna need for today's brake job. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna kinda just clean up you see with a degreaser or something, just the outside. Then we're going to uh, open the cap up. <clears throat> and we're going to remove this little filter. Set that aside. And the level's pretty high, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to remove some. We're going to leave the cap off. Now for this, I normally will just jack up. Um, there's there's a piece where the frame is underneath, uh, a little further in. This is a low profile jack, so you'll, you'll be able to do that. But um, I just stick that in there, jack that up, and then I can put the floor jack underneath. Remember to chalk your wheels. All right, so I'm going to loosen uh, these nuts before I lift the car up off the ground. I'm using a 17 millimeter. All 
All right, so these are your front uh, brakes. I'm gonna probably clean these up. They're pretty dirty. I'll put some rags underneath um, and uh, get these all cleaned up. But the rotors are pretty bad. Um, shouldn't have that big of a lip on it and they're all rusted through in the middle. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace this. Looks like somebody may have tried to drill this out. So that's interesting. But for this, uh, we're gonna need 13 millimeter here for these, for the caliper bolts. And then we're gonna need a 16 millimeter. So you're gonna need a 16 right there and another one at the bottom. And this is your brake sensor. So we're gonna pull that one out. All right, so we've gone ahead and we've turned the wheel, um, you know, to the left. So that way we have more access in the back. It's like that's gonna be a, uh, in between a 14 and a 15. I think 14 will work. Porsche 911 going by. My wife's on the way out. This is pretty dirty. All right, so we're gonna set this aside and we're gonna start working on these bolts here. Those are gonna be 17 millimeter. Actually, we're gonna put this onto this other side. Alright, so we have everything off here now. This looks like this is the retaining um, bolt uh, for the caliper. Must have rusted out at some point or you know seized on. So it looks like they just looks like they probably just drilled it out. Um, I'm just gonna leave like that. You don't really need that. That's just really to hold the rotor in place um, when you're when you're working on it, you know. But obviously the lug nuts will press that that rotor in place regardless. Um, so right now I'm just gonna do a lot of cleaning because I mean, it's it's pretty dirty. A lot of this is rusted up, honestly. I'm most likely, I may end up replacing all of this later on down the road, um, you know, because it's pretty crispy. Uh, but I'm gonna clean it up as much as I can right now. I'm going to, um, you know, use a wire brush and uh, clean this up with some brake cleaner and then I will um, wear a mask because you're going to be kicking up a lot of dust and probably puts on some safety glasses on for this also. And I'm going to be cleaning all this up also. So we're going to get to that. We're going to remove these clips because we don't, you know, we've got new ones. So we'll get rid of these. Just be careful because they're really sharp. <laughs> All right, before putting the new discs on, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna spray them with brake cleaner and then we're gonna wipe them all off because they will have a coating usually, a protective coating on top. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do that now. Actually, I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, this brake grease on this because it's pretty rusted up, so I wanna so it doesn't stick so much for next time around. All right, since right now we don't have the retaining screw here, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use a lug nut to hold this in place. We're gonna start by uh, lubing these uh, pins up. So you know, normally I'll clean them off and I'll put fresh lube on there. And we're gonna use this uh, brake system grease. Be 
that'll go all over this pin. And that will go back into here. And we'll put the boot all the way on. And we'll go ahead and we'll do the same thing with the other pin. Bracket will come in here. And we're gonna hand tighten these. And then we're gonna torque these down. These are gonna be torqued down to uh, 28. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna compress the piston. Uh, so what you wanna do is you wanna take one of the old pads, just place it on there, and then you're gonna use a C-clamp. So it's completely compressed. We're gonna back it out. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get to grab the new pads. All right, so these are gonna be your new pads. They're gonna be, they're gonna be two that are different and two are that are the same. All right, the one with the bigger hole, you can see the indentation. That's the inside pad, because that's where the sensor goes into. So you're gonna to wanna to place this one on this side. But uh, before that, we gotta place the new uh, hardware, the new clips. It should be stainless steel. And then what you wanna do is you wanna grease these up also before installing. So you wanna go on all the surfaces on the inside. And these will go right in here. Just line them up, press them down. Those are good. All right, so the next step, um, you're gonna to wanna to grease, uh, grab some more of your grease, and you're gonna put grease on these little nubs here. This is what's gonna be sliding back and forth. So you wanna make sure they have good movement. All right, like we said before, the one with the bigger hole in it is gonna be the inside pad. So we're just gonna slide this in. So this one, this one here with a smaller little hole goes inside. All right, so we have those pads in there. Now we're gonna grab our caliper and we're gonna put our caliper over, over those pads. And later on, we can go ahead and put our, our sensor there. So we're gonna wanna line up, well, actually take off the bungee cords. That would help. All right, so that's how we're gonna line up these. And you can put a little bit of the uh, thread lock on there. I'm just reusing them for now because I'm probably gonna end up replacing these. All right, you wanna hand tighten these. All right, so you wanna grab with the 14, you can grab the outside and with the 13, you can run the inside. All right, so we're gonna tor we're gonna torque these down to uh, 28 foot pounds. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna replace this brake sensor. All right, so we're underneath the car right now. Um, so we're looking underneath the wheel well. It's gonna move this aside. And back here, you're gonna see the sensor. The sensor is right here. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna unclip it. So it's gonna be this white one here. And then from there, there should be a little clip on the bottom. All right, so we have a clip here. You can press that on both sides, then this whole thing should come up. I'm gonna use both hands and I'll come back to this. All right, so 
here you have the clip. Once you press these buttons down here, this whole thing just comes out. And from there, you just have to remove the cable here. All right, so there it is. And then from there, you just have to run along and just uh, unhook the cables everywhere. You know, these things. All right, so we're gonna take our new cable and uh, run it right, uh, right through here. All right, so we've run that through there, the head. Now this, we're just gonna clip um, up here. And this one we're gonna tie onto right here. And this we're gonna run right around here. Now this goes underneath the cap here and gets held on by the cap. And then the sensor, we're gonna go ahead and just uh, place that right in here. Be careful with this L because you can break that. So this goes right in this orientation. There you go. And just press down and you're ready to roll. So we're gonna go underneath now and we're gonna plug, you know, this piece in. Make sure these the little pins inside are straight. We'll go ahead and put that in. All right, it's in. We're just gonna put this back. And put everything back. And there's some clips that are missing here. I'm gonna have to replace the fasteners, but this should stay in place. And hopefully our brake light will be out. All right, so that's gonna be it for the brakes. You know, I'm just gonna go ahead and put the uh, wheel back on and just be careful that this thing doesn't fall out of place because since this retainer screw is missing, it's gonna be a little tricky, but um, I'll eventually probably end up drilling that out. But everything's in place, pads are in place. And we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna um, put the wheel back on and put the car down and start pumping the brakes and hopefully see if that brake light went out. All right, I'm gonna torque these down to 103. All right, so the last step is start the car, and then and we're gonna pump the brakes. So just pressing down on it, and you'll feel it get firmer. And that's it. All right, so that's gonna do it today for the changing of the rotors and the pads on the front on uh, my Mini Cooper. Um, everything went pretty smoothly, you know, except for the little nut that holds the callip the uh, brake rotor in place. One was. I guess it had snapped off at some point. The other one snapped off when I was taking it off uh, on the on the passenger side. Uh, but you can still put it back on without uh, without using that bolt. Uh, so other than that, make sure that you know you always check the brake fluid reservoir. And um, like for me, when I you know the first time when I did it, I got a red brake light and I got a triangle with an exclamation point, and that was because I had taken a lot of brake fluid out in preparation for it. Um, so make sure you top that off and, um, you know, pump the brakes several times until, you know, they get firm. The car has to be on so the hydraulics work properly. And then from there, uh, you know, just drive it and you got to break them in. So, you know, follow your own procedure. For, for me, I just, I drive it hard and then I brake hard and I do that. I cycle it over a couple times. Okay, so that's going to be it for today. Um, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe, like, comment. Uh, follow me on Instagram uh, at Omer's Garage. Uh, with the Z. And uh, let me know what you think. You know, let me know if this helped you out. You know, let me know. I always enjoy hearing some feedback and hearing, uh, you know, and hearing from people and letting me know that it helped them out because really that's why I make these videos. Um, I really enjoy hearing from you guys. Uh, so y'all take care and stay safe.